Welcome to Shantytown Heritage Park, guardians of your West Coast heritage. Shantytown is a tourist attraction, museum, education centre and conference event centre based in the Grey District. Steam train rides, gold panning, Victorian classroom education, a holographic theatre and a vast array of interpretive information provide the visitor with a memorable and interactive experience. Shantytown is a community-owned, not-for-profit organisation, investing its profits back into the organisation, which in turn becomes an investment in the care of the district's history. I started Shantytown in 1972. My passion and my involvement with Shantytown was with the steam engines. I gave up my very secure job on the railway to be the custodian of the Kaitangata steam train. Shantytown has been quite special because it's never been reliant upon ratepayer or taxpayer money and it's been self-funding over the years and it was started as a community project from Rotary and Lions and the JCs of the time. They donated and their friends donated thousands of hours and when I started in 1972 a lot of that volunteer effort was still to the fore making it run. It's run by a voluntary board and they have invested a huge amount of time and effort. It's probably tested my marriage at times. Apart from my paid employment, I'd put in a lot of effort on my days off. Yeah, I have been known to come on Christmas Day and feed the chickens, feed the cats, stoke the fire up to make sure the engine's hot for the Boxing Day start. The redevelopment of Shantytown has taken place over the last five to ten years. All that uh, redevelopment cost about three million dollars in total. And this was, uh, again, raised without having to require input from the ratepayers or the local communities directly. The main thing that we wanted to do was connect with the community and go back to basics and make sure that we had their interests at heart. So we started with a sawmill. We had an opening day, it was the biggest thing we'd had for years, and that was an exciting time. Through the sawmill opening, the community was reminded that Chandytown is a community organisation and it needs the community support as well as the support from the visitors. Then we just work around some of the other attractions, modernising them and making them more user friendly. We've resulted now in new products such as the Holograph Theatre, um, the preservation of steam trains which are nationally important, uh, the production of a book which was produced on the history of the Chinese. On school day there's 50 kids running around and it looks amazing. I had a particular passion around education and to make Shantytown relevant for young pupils of today, uh, we set up a Leotech school, learning experiences outside the classroom. Despite long and hard battles with the Ministry of Education, we have managed to achieve some very successful outcomes there. And that's another community aspect of Shantytown, having the local schools involved, because they go home and get their parents involved and that, that keeps that connection alive. As a board, we, we have welcomed um, two or three organisations out here with their volunteers. They now have Shantytown as a home, and we have the Vintage Clark Club, the Masonic Lodge, and the Gem and Mineral Club. Yeah, it's very good to see the board involved in bringing in fresh blood. Their volunteers work with our volunteers, and we achieve a lot more together. Yeah, they bring a new vitality to the village. And they add to the, to the stories that we can all tell together. <laughs> So after 43 years of voluntary input and community involvement, it really has become the heart of the West Coast community. And long may it continue.